Hi everyone, Bella here. Um, it's so good to be back and I hope you're all doing okay. It's been week 8 million of the quarantine and I know we've all been looking for activities to keep ourselves busy. Most of us want to just chop all our hair off, which I did on the third week of the quarantine. And um, I got a lot of requests from you guys to teach you how I cut and colored my own hair during this quarantine. And uh, my only advice is don't get intimidated. It's very simple. This might be something, you know, I'm, I'm keen on doing even after the quarantine now. I'd love to take care of my own hair because it saves you so much money. Um, plus hours and hours in salons. So I guess I just unlocked a life hack here. And um, there, I hope you guys like this video. Also, I added a little tip in the end so you could achieve this look. I call this the French girl slash Korean girl slash Bella girl hairstyle. And it's very easy to do. You can copy this look in five minutes or less. I hope you guys like it. See you later. And now I'll teach you how to go from this to this. Enjoy! Hi everyone. It is day 19 of the community quarantine. And I have decided to give myself a haircut. I don't know if I should be doing this when my hair is wet. video of cutting your hair earlier and I will try my best to do what I can. So I am super sorry guys, I don't remember which brand I used but I remember buying an organic box of blonde hair color in Healthy Options and when I applied that on black, 
the end result is what you see in the start and the end of the video. All right. Okay, hi everyone. Um, we are now at the last step to achieving that messy French girl look um, that I achieved in the photo that you guys asked for um, a tutorial for. Um, it's very easy to do, very simple. If I do it in real time, it would usually take less than five minutes, but I'll do a time lapse. But I'll teach you first, um, um, I guess, like step by step ways to do it on one side. Um, I love this look because it's very simple. Um, as you guys can tell, I like I like looking very natural and clean, and this hairstyle helps me achieve that. So you will need three things only: um, a hair clamp, a hairbrush, actually even just a ponytail is fine, um, and a curling iron. So this I got from Babyliss a couple of years ago, and it still works. It's not the thinnest and not the biggest either. It's a medium barrel you could ask for it um, the default setting is 150 I usually don't go higher than that because I don't want to damage my hair too much and to be honest the haircut I did allows me to just keep it like this and still look good but you know if I have important zoom meetings or if I have zoom calls with my friends or there are just days you want to you know fix up a bit this is the look I go for I'll teach you guys how to do it in a bit I'll be back I guess Keep it away from your face and from the rest of your hair at the back. Give it a nice tug clamp there. And then I usually just split my hair in to brush it out. Um, so yeah, on most days during the quarantine, I don't even brush my hair. This hairstyle you can do even without brushing your hair as long as there are no big tangles, you know, just finger comb through your hair. Um, I guess that's what I love about this haircut. It's so easy to manage because it's short. It's um, it's such a clean cut. You know, it's it's easy to fix. Okay, so you get your curling iron. So um, I like achieving either the Korean girl or French girl look, and I noticed this is how they do it. So on the layers under, they curl it outwards, and the layers on top inwards. So I usually start from the back. I just get. A section that's not too thick and then so I hold the, the curler from here and I curl outwards I guess to give you an idea just think of your hair going up and then I usually just stay at the ends a couple of seconds and see there's a nice little 60s fly away going on there um, so yeah and then I just keep going until I finish everything that's Okay, now that I'm done with the bottom half, um, we can quickly move on to the last bits of hair that we have that's not curled. Um, so you see I have this nice little 60s flyaway going on there. Um, this is the way I know to do it, but you can also do it inwards, I guess. But this has a cuter effect later on. Um, also, it doesn't need to be perfect. As you can see, some are more curled than the others because we still have a top layer to work with. And um, I'm just not too OC with, you know, my look, I guess. Um, I like it to be as natural and as simple as possible. So. I'll keep it like this. And now we release the top part. I am going for mid part today. But honestly, when you fix your hair the way I do, it doesn't matter where you part your hair because later you'll see if we switch left and right, it's gonna look just as good anyway. So the top part, we are gonna curl inwards. And I will show you how to do that. So if earlier we used the thumb to press um, the curler, now we go around and use your forefinger. So it goes inward. And I will start again from the back and work my way to the front. So yeah, again just the ends. If there are pieces like this that come loose, just 
bring it back forward and we can work on it later together. Okay. That is how it's supposed to look like. Um, let's see, I don't really brush through my hair. Ah, oh, this is what I hate about this. It gets stuck sometimes. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I finished everything. I really love this look. Um, so clean. You can also, you know, tuck some at the back, leave some hanging down. It would still look good. Um, you could put it in a cramp. It would still look good. When it gets too hot and you put it in a ponytail, it's gonna have that really cute, like Barbie tail. Um, but to elevate this look from this to when we're actually allowed to go outside again, and you want, I guess. Um, um, a more elevated look. I can teach you a few steps. Um, I usually take just a couple of strands around and curl the top of like until the roots of my hair. Um, so like I'll take a clump at the back, curl outwards always. So there. This is um, this look now is very Korean. Um, when I was shooting a film in Korea, I, I tried to absorb their techniques and they have a really, really meticulous way of fixing hair and I loved it. Um, some of the techniques I can't do still on my own, but I will study them and maybe post them again later on. But this works. This kind of gives volume to your hair. So just leave it like that. It's okay that the bottom is not curled. So I'll usually get um, a clump in the middle as well. Again, just curl the top. And my favorite is when I get the clump in front. So this is where your bangs usually would be. And I curl all the way up to the root, but be careful not to burn yourself, your anet, your forehead, whatever. Just don't. It's gonna hurt. Okay. So I'll quickly go around again. All right, I am done. Now the best thing to do with this is just comb your hair through those mini curls. Flip your hair over, just go like this. Mess it up at the roots a bit and flip back. And this is my favorite quarantine look. And I will bring this outside into the real world as soon as I can. So there you go. This is my French girl look slash Korean girl look slash Bella girl look. Alright, I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Um, if you do um, copy the look, please tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see if you achieved it. Um, one last tip, I guess if you want it to have more volume, you could either spray your roots with the dry shampoo over here if you have very straight hair like I do and it comes flat on the top of your head. But I kind of like this look. Or you could um, get your hairbrush, lift parts up a bit and just brush back like that and scrunch it a bit. See? It just adds a bit of volume there. If you want like a sexier, um, I guess, thicker look. But I like it to be simple, so I'll just pull everything down. And like I said earlier, no matter where you decide to part your hair, it's fine. See, if you go one side, it still looks good. If you go the other side, it still looks good. But today, I am doing a middle part because it matches my outfit more. All right, there you go. I hope you guys liked this video and um, I hope I taught you what I know well and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!